multi-billionaires. And I was supposed to have been right in there with you. And what you do? You had me to call your people and thank them for visiting and thank them for using you. You use me. You but take you know use me up. Break it off, the, sister. I'm gonna get off the phone, but you got a blessing with your name on it, okay? Of course. Thank you, my queen. Give thanks. Hey, hey, hey and, and listen. I know my number's on call ID. Call me. All okay. right, my queen, and I'm All on right. Facebook, YouTube. My email address is teddyperm at yahoo.com. I'm putting up a large um, slumlord award board for you to turn in these ragged houses in your community. The seniors are being eaten alive by bed bugs, roaches, and all these things. I want y'all to send pictures of these slum properties with the landlord name under, look on it under um, for Google Plus and um, YouTube. So I got to work on it. I'm only one person. And all it all, don't get mad because I can't get to you back on Facebook. Y'all just commenting. Learn and listen. I'm not going to live forever. They have done everything they could to kill me out. Dwight Jones, Ellen Robinson, oh. all the police officers that have beat me, have kicked my door in, have stolen my cars. All the dirty judges, God, kill them. Kill him, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Bertie Jameson with her dirty self. Oh, um, what is that thing name with that um that lawyer? Oh, I can't think of it's so oh, Michael Heron. Father God snapped the breath out of his body. All of the dirty attorneys, David Hicks, oh Lord, Michael Moore Child. All the dirty lawyers that hurt my homeless people, Father God. All of them over there in control of legal aid that are robbing and stealing from the people. Oh, Father God, all of the people with um, all these job programs supposed to be out there to help the poor and the homeless. Car talks. All of you witches. And guys out there stealing from my homeless people, I pray that God cripple your hands that you won't even be able to wipe your behind at night. I pray that he cripple your hand up so bad when you go to the bathroom, all you can do is cry for help because you are hurting <laughs> these people. You are hurting these people. You're killing these people. You're buying houses and cars and land off of these poor people's money. That's why they can't make it. You deliberately keep these people out here. But I'm telling you, I got thousands of videos, and I'm not afraid because I've died more than one time. I got great doctors. I got great doctors. Thank you, Dr. Zacharias, Charles M. Zacharias, and the, uh, all the staff. It used to be St. Mary's, but they did something dirty to me, too. I've been going hey, to them uh, uh, don't forget Dr. Jesus. Oh, he is the main one on the main line, girlfriend. Don't start me talking about my father, because it's all good. They wonder how I look so good after they done did all that dirty stuff to me. Well, I tell you like this. It's been a long time coming, and we have to expose this corruption in the state of Virginia with these rednecks and these crackers running all these golf courses. Let me tell you right quick about the Country Club of Virginia when I was working out there. I was hired as a waitress and a bartender. I'm good at what I do. I could charm the shoes off of you. Look, I'm in there working and working and working, making money. They ain't mind me making money. But they saw I had so many skills that they put me in charge of the tennis house. They say, do you want to be in charge of the clubhouse? Them niggas was paying, them white niggas was paying me $600 a week. You think I'm going to turn that down? I had my kids. They wouldn't let me sell real estate. So anyway, my job was to get my crew to go in there early in the morning because them crackers be up smacking them balls early in the morning. They have um, tennis and all of this other stuff going on, racquetball and all this. When they take them showers, them whites love them showers and saunas, they leave a thousand towels. Well, all that stuff is wet and heavy. Check this out. 
We had my black help, and we went down there and picked up behind the whiteys. That's all they did, pick up behind the whiteys. Some of them never said thank you, some of them never said kiss, but you could tell by the demeanor. So mm -hmm. um, one day my supervisor called me, he was so proud of me, Teddy, oh, you doing such a marvelous job. And I said to him, well, I got a problem. Cause I'm tired of seeing my black staff pull a thousand pounds of wet, dirty towels in the back of this wagon that was built for a horse to pull. Oh. Well, big wheels on this wagon, and they had my black people tied up to that damn wagon, pulling them across the golf course at the Country Club of Virginia, and I looked that white in his face, and I do stand up calmly. I burst out laughing in that nigga face. I oh. said, you know what? I don't like what you're doing to my people. And I don't care how much money you pay me, Mr. Nigger. You cannot make me continue to do my people like that. Okay? They sit up in a big house and laugh and fall out the chair laughing at my, the men and the women pulling that heavy ass wagon with that load. And no one made it so sad they had golf carts. And I told the white, I say, I'm going to use this golf cart to put this laundry in and nobody going to drive it but me. But every day that laundry going to be over here. But my people not going to pull that shit with the horse no more. I mean that shit. Okay, <laughs> they looked at me like I had lost my oh. flipping mind. <laughs> oh, God, it's good. You know what? You, you put me in mind of another Angela Davis. But listen to me, now I'm Teddy Pearl. So the white looked at me and said, well, I say y'all so damn racist, it's pathetic. And they looked at me and said, well, we thought about um, asking Doug Wilder to join. I burst out laughing in that white's face. I say, do you think he was going to come over here with you white demons doing their people like that? I said, he, Doug Wilder ain't joining this bitch. And look, I was hooked up in the Bull and Bear Club, the downtown club. I knew it was in the club with all the rich people. They love my little ass. So, they find me. You know what he said? What? He said, I, I put my hand up. I said, up, up, hold it. I resign. You can take that wagon and <laughs> shove it up your ass, okay? I'm not going to be the girl who be here watching my people go through slavery all again, nigga, in the year 19-something. I ain't the one. And they the ones that don't mess me up in the real estate, in the law school. Them white is on me, but I'm on you. You made money for me. I'm excited. I'm excited. The lawsuits are coming your way. All you Uncle Toms, Miss Tom, Dwight Jones. And I got to say this about my boy Wilder. Now, when Wilder was hanging out there, he was a young male whore. He was a good-looking whore, but I didn't like them light-skinned hoes, okay? He was hanging with who? Bill Cosby back in the day. And they used to hang with who? Rob a cup to find a white boy on our spy. Rob a cup was throwing down them white girls, and show sure was Bill Cosby and Doug Wilder. They had them white gals' legs in the air hollering, 10, 9, 8. But look how it done come back on you. Hey, I look think how that's back on Bill Cosby. Yes. That's how I think Doug Wilder met Patricia Kluge, one of the richest white gals in the world. And when he oh. met her, she was working at the bar doing her thing. So, you know, when you work at the bar, you can be a trick or be tricked on, okay? So, now I look at Bill Cosby, he look like a cyclops. What the hell happened? That used to be a good looking man at one time, but my God is turning him down. If you in yeah. there doing all them white women like that, may your penis fall off and roll up, okay, brother? I gotta go. All right.
All right. Stay tuned, darling. You be blessed because right. I'm telling the rest. You're telling the truth. All you're right. Real. I love you. Don't let that sucker go down by itself. Doug Wilder knew what was happening with his little dirty self. So that was an interesting conversation. And that's what I like to do. I like to make it fun. And I'm telling on all the crooks I know. Nah, 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 nah. So um, I'm telling you now that I see you. Monument trip has been canceled. We're going to let them ride through Highland Park. We're going to let them ride off down 4th Avenue, and we're going to let them ride over there to the Hollywood Cemetery over there with my boy, uh, Arthur Ashe. Maggie Walker, people worship them all around the world. People talk about them all around the world, but the city of Richmond have disgraced them. That's a damn shame. I got video. You got to go to Google Plus, YouTube, Facebook, all of that. See how the cemetery look. Now, for my homeless people, I got your back. But what I want to ask you guys to do is somebody donate me about 25 lawnmowers for one day. I want to get my homeless people to go over to that cemetery. I want somebody to provide a ride for us to go over to that cemetery, that black history cemetery, and clean it up. The people that own it can't keep it up. And it's horrible. The graves are covered, everything is covered. We need donations. And don't forget about your veterans. Take donations to the VA hospital nearest you. They got to be new items and carry them to the homeless part of the hospital, stand down. We got to get them warm. It's getting ready to get cold. They need new sleeping bags. They need new coats, thermals, blankets, everything. And the lady's name is Miss Brooke over there at the VA hospital. Do it now. Do it before it gets cold. They need sleeping blankets. They need tents. I'm begging you all over America, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing and be blessed. See ya. I ain't gonna cross this yellow tape, this gun line, boss. You fucked up when I heard. That's his son, man. That man dead, man. He dead. He dead, cuz. See what shit you get to see fuck with me. That's fucked up, man. They said he had his hands up and everything, man. They was trying to get at him. I don't know. I wasn't out here. I just heard the gunshot. I heard the gunshot from all the way up there. Mm. I knew something happened. It's too early in the day. Who is the? Is, is, do he stay here? No, it was daddy right there, man. His daddy just tried to go around. They grabbed him. Daddy in that black t-shirt police talking to him. And that's his auntie right there on the phone. In them screws. It's lousy motherfucker. Yeah, boy. That's some dirty that motherfucker. shit, man. That's some dirty motherfucker. Yeah, he gone. He gone. He so gone. He stood over him and, and yeah, and shot him some more when he was on the ground. Yeah, that's what they said.